All right, this is how to create your CV or resume website in Notion. You're going to use simple.ink. This is, this is the software we provide and we've got a 100% free plan. So you can use it without paying anything. You're going to have your free CV hosted and, uh, and the website built. So let's see, where do we start? Um, step zero, you skip this if you already have your CV done in Notion. If you don't, step zero is for you, which is go to... Uh, this link right here, you're going to have it below in the description. And if you scroll, you get one of our templates for free. So um, just get, let's say we'll get this one and I'll open it. I'll click duplicate in the upper right corner and just select my Notion workspace. Wait a tiny bit until Notion does its thing. And then once it's duplicated, um, feel free to either change the information to your very own info or you can leave that for later because as you see in a second the edits we make on the notion page will automatically apply instantly to the notion website so oh here we are the page is done is duplicate now this is in my workspace what i want to do is go in the upper right corner this button right here share click share and by default this tick will be off turn it on share to the web and click copy. That's all you need to do. And by the way, you don't need a paid Notion plan to use this. It works with a free Notion plan perfectly. Uh, once I have this link, I want to go to, well, let's see. If you don't have a simple thing website, just paste it here in the upper right corner or here or anywhere you see an invitation from us to paste your link. So even here, you would paste it and click the blue button. But if you already have a web, uh, sorry, an account just like I do, Go to your dashboard and it will be the same thing. So I'll click add a new website. I'll paste right, right here the very link I've copied from here, if you remember, a couple of seconds ago. So I'll do command or control V, paste it. Good. All bueno here. Uh, number two, where will your website be? So I'll call this Daniel CV resume one. I don't want to steal the good subdomain from you guys. So um, if you're the first Daniel, I mean, I might be the first time, but I haven't taken Daniel that simple that ink. If you want it and it's still available, come and get it uh, before another Daniel, before your evil twin might get it from you. So besides that, I'll just pick a semi-ugly subdomain here. Click, let's launch it, wait a tiny bit, and boom, it's, uh, it's already built. This is our CV or resume website. And... Um, it will look exactly like the page I have right here. So if I put them side by side, uh, you will see that Daniel-CV-Resume1.Simple.Ink looks exactly the same as what I've made, what I have on the Notion page. So let's give an example of what I said before. Uh, let's make a quick change, how people describe me, uh, what people say about me. Let's just say I want to change that. And uh, what I'll do is I'll do refresh. Let's see. And after a couple of seconds, it should come up right here. Look, what people say about me. My suggestion, if it doesn't load the first time, I've used Command-Shift-R or Control-Shift-R. That refreshes the page uh, while clearing the cookies of the very page. So it might be because of that. But of course, if we open an incognito tab, we'll see this change right here, what people say about me. And in case you haven't noticed, um, your website has been built for a couple of minutes. Um, I'm already... Um, just giving out the details here, but this is it. Your Notion page will reflect the changes and the sub pages as well. So um, let's see project example one, right? If I click it, there you go. We have a sub page and you will be able to change this into a pretty URL. So maybe you want it to be a pro oops, project example or just project, whatever. You want to change how the URL looks so that it's more, more legible, especially if you're on Daniel, that's simple at ink, so it can look like this. Pretty nice. But then what do you do if you have a custom domain? Um, you can click this button, but you might not be on this page anymore. So the home page of the website will be here. On the sidebar, site customization, domain. And we have custom domains as a paid feature. So a custom domain would be um, daniel.com or daniel.so or uh, whatever.com.so whatever domain you've bought for yourself. If you have that and you're on a paid simple.ink plan, you can connect it so that, let's say for instance, chdavid.com is a website built with simple.ink. 
Um, and as you can see, it's not chdavid.simple.inc, it's chdavid.com, and this is a custom domain. Um, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to pay us at the moment or ever, really, no problem with that, just stick to a free simple.inc subdomain. We believe it looks nice. Uh, it's short, it's beautiful, it's simple, hence the name. Um, just stick to this forever. We don't mind if you're on a, on a, on a free plan. And um, that's it. Maybe at a certain point in the future, it would change your mind. You will want a custom domain for whatever reason. But if not, we're here to help you. So that's it. This is how to build your CV or resume website in Notion. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any question or any anything you want clarified. I usually monitor this to come and help. And uh, make sure you look at the bio to get the links you need. But um, that was it for today. Let me know what else you'd like to see. And we'll be happy to show you. Enjoy the rest of the day.